Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about Tax vs. PyTorch. And the following are the topics that we are going to discuss. Firstly, we will discuss about the Tax and after that we will understand about the PyTorch and then we will discuss about the Jax vs PyTorch and after that we will understand about the Jax vs PyTorch vs TensorFlow and in the last we will discuss about Jax vs PyTorch benchmark. So without any delay let's jump to the topic and discuss about what is Jax. Jax stands for just after execution. It is a machine learning library developed by DeepMind. Jax is a JIT, which means just-in-time compiler that focused on controlling the maximum numbers of flops that creates optimized code while using Python. Jax is a programming language showing and creating transformations of numerical programs. It is also able to compile numerical programs for CPU or accelerating GPU. Jax enables NumPy code on not only for GPU but CPU and TPU as well. Now we will understand the concept of the Jax with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import jax.numpy and after that we will import create jit vmap from jax and then import random from jax. After importing all the necessary libraries, here we are generating random data and then we will multiply two matrix and given the size is equal to my 2899. And then we run this on the GPU. Now execute this cell and you can see that the multiplication of the two matrices is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about the PyTorch. PyTorch is an open source machine learning library that is mostly used for computer vision and natural language processing in Python. It is developed by the Facebook AI Research Lab. It is a software released under the modified BSG license. It is built based on Python which supports the calculation of tensors on GPU. PyTorch is easy to use, has efficient memory usage, dynamic computational graph, is flexible and create coding feasible that increases the processing speed. The PyTorch is the most recommended library for deep learning and artificial intelligence. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch with the help of an example. Here is our example. So firstly we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import math. After importing the library, we use the device like torch.device function and within this function we are using CPU. And then we are creating random inputs and output data. And after that we are randomly initialize the weights. And then we are using forward pass and compute predicted Z. And after that compute and print loss function and then back propagate to compute gradients of m n o p with respect to lows then update the weights using gradient descent and in the last we want to print the result by using print function now execute this cell and you can see that the result of the items is printed on the screen now move forward and discuss about Jax vs PyTorch. Jax was released in December 2018 and the PyTorch was released in October 2016. Next, the Jax is developed by the Google, whereas the PyTorch is developed by Facebook. Next is, its graph creation is statics, whereas 
Its graph gradation is dynamic. In JAX, the target audience is researcher. And in PyTorch, the target audience is researcher and developers. In JAX, implementation has linear runtime complexity. And in PyTorch, implementation has quadratic time complexity. The JAX is more flexible than PyTorch because it allows you to define functions and then automatically calculates the derivative of those functions. PyTorch is flexible. The development of stage is developing v0.1.55 and in PyTorch the development stage is mature v1.8.0. JAX is more efficient than PyTorch because it can automatically parallelize our code across multiple CPU. The PyTorch is efficient. Now move forward and discuss about JAX versus PyTorch versus TensorFlow. JAX is developed by Google, whereas PyTorch is developed by Facebook, and whereas TensorFlow is developed by the Google. JAX is flexible, whereas PyTorch is also flexible, whereas TensorFlow is not flexible. JAX target audience is researchers, whereas PyTorch target audience is researcher as well as developer and TensorFlow target audience is researchers and developers. JAX created static graph, whereas PyTorch created dynamic graphs and TensorFlow created both static and dynamic graphs. JAX has both high level and low level API. Whereas PyTorch has low level API and TensorFlow has high level API. JAX is more efficient than PyTorch and TensorFlow. PyTorch is less efficient than JAX. Whereas TensorFlow is also less efficient than JAX. JAX development stage is developing v0.1.55. Whereas the PyTorch development stage is mature v.1.8.0. Whereas the TensorFlow development stage is mature v2.4.1. Now move forward and discuss about JAX versus PyTorch benchmark. Firstly, we will discuss about JAX. JAX is a machine learning library for changing numerical function. It can assemble numerical programs for CPU or accelerator GPUs. Now we will understand the concept of the JAX with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries. After importing all the necessary libraries, here we are multiplying the matrices. Here we are multiplying the matrices and after that, we are multiply two big matrices and run on the GPU and then we use JAX NumPy function work on regular NumPy array and after that transfer the data to GPU and then we describe the variable by using num.random.normal function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the matrix multiplication using JAX is done on the screen. Now we will discuss about PyTorch benchmark. PyTorch benchmark helps us validate that our code encounters performance expectations and compare different approaches for solving the problems. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch benchmark with the help of an example to clear our doubt. So, here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import time it. After importing all the necessary libraries, here we are defining the model. After defining the model, here we are input for the bench marking. After that, we ensure after that, we ensure that both the function compute the same output and then using timer method and then we want to print multiple sum and BMM 
by using print function. Now execute this cell and you can see that the multiplication and sum values using the PyTorch benchmark is printed on the screen. So with this, we have covered all the topics related to the JAX versus PyTorch. If this video was helpful, please like this video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channels for more videos like this one. And here are some YouTube video suggestions that you must watch. Thank you. Have a nice day.